What is up everyone, my name is Michael Pohl. Welcome back to Bay Area Aquatics. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to buy 50 pounds of aquarium sand for just $5. So as most of you guys know, the aquarium hobby can start to add up quite a bit. You get little bits and pieces here and there. By the time you start buying and buying and buying, things add up. So we're always looking to cut corners when we can while maintaining the same quality. I personally like sand for my substrate, not because it's easier to clean, it's actually a little bit harder to maintain, but I think it looks way better than gravel in most situations. My biggest problem with sand is that in an aquarium store, a five pound bag of aquarium sand is gonna run you like six or seven dollars. That means to fill up a 37 gallon like this, you're gonna spend 15 to 20 dollars at least on sand. If you're doing a bigger tank, you're gonna spend even more than that. Well luckily, there's a couple of pretty easy ways to save money on a couple different types of colors of sand. The first is being pool filter sand. That's right, pool filter sand. This is the sand that goes in a lot of pool filters, kind of as the name implies. Most of it comes in a white color uh, with a little bit of like a brown mixed in. Some of it comes in like totally pure white. Um, you just wanna make sure there's no like bleaching additives or anything that they're adding to it. You can get it in like a super natural like brown sand. Um, a lot of people use play sand for like a, uh, almost like a sandbox type of deal. Um, the problem with that is that's really, really dirty sand. Um, and it's not really made for water to flow through it. The pool filter sand helps with the water flow quite a bit. The other thing you can buy, and I actually run it in most of my tanks, is the Black Diamond Blasting Sand, which is basically a coal slag. It's like a byproduct of, I think it's coal, like mining or something like that. Um, it's used in blasting cabinets a lot, which makes you think it's gonna be kind of sharp, but it's actually not. The blasting kind of, you know, it works based off the speed it's hitting. Um, but I run it in here, it just looks like black sand. It's cheap, again, it's like five or six dollars for a 50 pound bag. I buy that at Tractor Supply. Um, a couple of other places have it, but blasting material usually is okay in aquariums. I've had things like quarry cats and stuff on it too. It works great for them. The sand I'm gonna be doing today for my new aquarium is pool filter sand because I wanted more of a white, you know, natural type of sand look for this aquarium. Oh, this is heavy. I'm not made for this. So the sand that I went and bought is from Home Depot. It's the Quick Right sand. It's 50 pounds of it in this bag. Um, it's a fairly, I can get it out without spilling it everywhere. Not really. It's a fairly uh, white colored sand. There's a little bit of a natural color in it. Um, the one thing you want to watch with buying these type of sands though, is they tend to be fairly dirty. Um, they're not like covered in mud dirty, but you definitely want to wash them. You want to wash all of your aquarium substrates, but this stuff you definitely want to give a good washing to. Now there's a couple ways to wash your aquarium sand. What I like to do, I like to fill a five gallon bucket about a quarter of the way up. Then I go ahead and drop a hose in. I like to bury it in the sand a little bit and turn that hose on, put that bucket on like a grass field or like a piece of gravel or something, or not a piece, but you know, plain of gravel, um, something where water can overflow onto it and you can kind of step on and grab it. And I let it sit there and just run in the bucket. Run and overfill, overfill, overfill. You're gonna have a lot of cloudy water. Once that water gets clear, you're gonna wanna stir it up again. Once you get to the point where you can stir it up and the water's clear and overflowing, even when you're stirring it, that is pretty much clean enough to use in your tank. You're still gonna get a little bit of cloudiness when you pour it in. Um, I like to run polyfill in my filters. It'll settle after a little bit, um, but I usually pour it into the tank, stir it up a little bit, um, let the filter take it out. Once you've cleaned your sand, you're pretty much good to go to add it to the aquarium. Like I said, you might get a little bit of a cloudy water, but it's nothing a little bit of a polishing pad can't handle. I hope you guys found this video useful. Like I said, it's an awesome way to get a lot of sand for a very cheap price and help make this hobby just a little bit cheaper. Let me know in the comments down below, do you use sand? What type of sand? Where did you get it? How much did you pay for it? Um, are you using aquarium sand? Do you like aquarium sand better than this type of sand? As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Like I said, drop me a comment down below. Any other subjects that you want me to cover, do you use the aquarium sand? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.